disagree with that at all. But many of the traditions in India, some of them are completely harmless. So you're like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Some of them make sense, like seasonal traditions, for example. Makes or, sense. Um, or uh, a friend in common has taught me once that um, how many how many generation in mice do you need in order to lose um, 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 an instinct that is not used in in lab mice? How many generations it takes? I wouldn't know the exact number. Yeah, but, but well, I imagine uh, I, I haven't been told either how how many how many. But um, I've been told that uh, they have they have run experiments. I think it's, this was before we met mm. you. Um, <clears throat> after I don't want to say anything stupid, but um, t fifteen generation easy. Mm. Like um, it'd probably be a long. Yeah, yeah. like um, they. Um, they scared the the mice um, mm, so much that it uh, changes their epigenetics and it generation after generation to remember the yeah. smell of being uh, something something threatening. Fifteen generation wasn't enough to to put it out. So that's that's tradition. Yeah, it's in place for a reason. <laughs> it's insanely difficult to get rid of. Yeah. It's, Especially it's, in the rural parts of town where you're not looking. In generally speaking. So far, the tendency was that we were not lo looking consciously to improve on our situation with education yeah, as quite, a primary tool. So yeah, it's quite resilient for sure. Of course, and you have a lot of that, as just as I do. Yeah, language is nothing else but tradition. Makes that's also true. makes that's why it makes no sense. It's None of true. it. It's the stupidest thing it's, ever. It's literally word of mouth. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Couldn't be more if we tried. So, oh, it's true. So, so that influences a lot of things that happen. You, you know what French language is, do I mean this? I'm I'm gonna get bl but, blasted for this on the online. Mm -hmm. It's it's the <laughs> it's the Roman imperials uh, coming to this uh, area of uh, of Europe, trying to spread the language of these people learning it shittily. That's it. <laughs> That's why they are writing it nonsensically. Oh, they, they're going to love this. Oh, they're going to... Well, <laughs> it is, it is in, a, in a way, because why do you need five different vowels <laughs> to express one? Well. makes zero sense. <laughs> Not like Hungarian makes sense, because it doesn't. No. It's don't. also stupid. Most of them don't. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, and, and, and the French language is beautiful. I'm, I'm giving it that, and I love it to death. And it's a language I can express myself in, but let's, let's be honest. Yeah. I mean, it makes no sense. Because it never did. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry. No, like, cr criticizing something that you love is the best thing you can do for it, in my opinion, which is why I criticize my country as freely as I praise it for when it gets it right. Well, you know... <coughs> but I, I get so much hate for it. I was around 12 when I criticized uh, English, when I started learning it. And my grandfather was like, it's, it's good to, that you, you know it. Mm. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah. This is how we speak it. It's not about you um, criticizing yeah. it. It's whether you can actually adapt yourself to learning it, whether it makes sense or not, because it doesn't have to make sense. Yeah, but but that's the thing. Um, this the, is this is something even I've heard over time is that uh, English. This is the way English is. You just gotta learn it. There's no other way. And English is a tradition, just like all languages are. And all traditions. So much so that there's a couple of different branches. Yes. <laughs> and all traditions have the have a similar retort to you when you try to change them. Is that this is the way it is. You don't. You don't need to. No one cares what you think. I, I, I'll get to the point. Yeah. So this is this is a trend that I've noticed. And, and uh, when you mentioned that your grandfather said this, it it kind of sparked this idea in my head. Is that I once saw a video about uh, people who have traditionally been making dictionaries, mm -hmm. maintaining dictionaries, and updating dictionaries. The lady said something that that really it still stays with me. Is that people like to think that the dictionary is a record that tells them how to use words but it's not it's a record of how people are using words which means traditions should be like that is that it shouldn't reflect what has always been it should reflect what it is now you should update them like dictionaries are we we don't we don't treat uh, social traditions the way we treat language as a tradition language as a tradition is extremely fluid for example the word uh, several words didn't exist 10 or 20 years ago that exists now. Yeah. And the dictionaries reflect that, which people look to as an authority on the language. For traditions, the, for social traditions, there is no such uh, updating happening, which is the problem. 
And same is my problem with uh, traditions like religion, for example, is that there is no updates in them. My problem has never been that they began as something bad or forget it. Whoever came up with it had whatever intentions he or she or they had. But if you update it, it's okay. You can you can make it better. No, I, if I, you don't update it, then you're in trouble. I, I agree with you. Um, but I also, I think I agree, I understand why it cannot be updated that fast. Uh, um, partially, I agree with you completely that um, the church for over several hundred years has... Um, um, has 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 um, I don't know how should I say this has blocked, abused its blocked, power. No, no. Well, the, yeah, sure. But um, well, they also did a couple of good things that we often forget. But no, yeah. Um, they 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 didn't allow us. They tried to preserve a, a system um, that that became abusive as a consequence. Sure. But think about it this way. Um, you know, you know teachers from your, uh, let's say, from your from high school. Um, that's that's not a very. Well, I I can't speak for India, uh, no, especially not from for your high school where I come from. This is not currently the highest. Uh, I, I went to a shitty school, so this wasn't the highest <clears throat> career choice a person could make academically, um, and. And uh, what do you do with teachers there when something like the internet shows up? What do you do with people? Because, mm. okay, history teachers, every single year, well, if you think about it, they should just update the book with, that, with the past <laughs> year that happened and, and move forward. What, what do you do when, when everything that you, you have been teaching is becoming completely useless. Do you fire that person in there? Mm. And that's the problem with the social network that we are living currently. Yeah, but that's a thing, and this is where I, I, and I've had this kind of discussion before, is that the internet is a great tool and all that, sure, but it's a very personal thing, and we undermine how personal it is. Because think of Google, the easiest way to, to the internet. Google will only tell you what you already know you're asking. How could you ask a question that you don't know how to ask? But sure. a teacher will tell you what's on the curriculum, regardless one. of sure. whether you're asking but it or not. But the problem is that... Um, of, of, of and that's why we need teachers. Of, and, I, and I agree with you. And that's, in my idea also, what a teacher is. Mm -hmm. But the majority of the cases that I encountered wasn't that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people shitty teachers to, are not a good, a good example to go by. Well, yeah, but they are also part of society. And they are. You want to yeah. kill them all? Or no, what no, no. should I you dispose of? The problem is that they have a least. lifetime, a lifespan. You guys are actually pretty successful, apparently, working on lengthening that lifespan and making it as efficient as possible. I have seen people who... <clears throat> Who have been teaching stuff that oh. um, I had I had classes to learn how to draw letters properly on um, on um, mechanical drawings makes zero sense today. Not only because we had uh, plastic forming mm. things that had that you know cut out that letter, so you would take a pencil and you draw it, and it draws exactly the same formula. Because we have a fucking printer. Yeah. <laughs> but back then, when they started it in the fifties, didn't, didn't exist. exist. And so, what do you do with somebody no. who starts teaching? Jobs are going to change, and these people should change their occupation accordingly. The thing is... I, I do agree. People How? People are not going to agree with that much. Well, <laughs> first of all... The person who has the job is not going to agree with yeah. that sentiment. Yeah, and, and so... And, and how do you... No. What, so, what do you expect them to move to, towards to? Or? Oh, that's, just, that's the thing. I mean, given how liberal I am, this makes sense to me the most, but it may not make sense to everyone, is that there is always more jobs coming in the way we want to move ahead. And what we have to do is find better ways to train people, not better ways to to get rid of them or replace them or shuffle them. We have to, we have, to have a, <clears throat> a better system to train someone to a degree that they can be part of the labor force. For example, the the changes in in the global environment and all these and all the jobs required to resurrect it and recover from it, these are all going to be new jobs that will require 
low degree labor as well as high degree uh, thinking and um, intellectual people and all that it's going to require a whole section of uh, like all the layers of uh, a workforce all the people who used to teach things that are now entirely useless or used to be coal miners which is entirely useless or used to be whatever can move to these jobs and the only thing stopping them is like what should be a six month diploma but in most and countries and the will to go there and the will to go there so this is the the, the two things tro- stopping this one is the will to go there in the people because change is scary for most people and the other thing is the governments who would not invest in such, uh, there's, such training there's programs. one other uh, parameter that you're not taking into account which Possibly. i think is way more important age there's mm-hmm. no kind way you are going to teach uh um a, a anybody after 40 unless they really want to if they hadn't been trained all their life or they it, i it, think it, anyone beyond the age of 40 should have a universal basic income <laughs> well that's yeah <laughs> because at that point if you have to change your job which every 10 years is going to happen every five years or every two years even in the future but every now and then it's going to happen at the age of 40 no nah, no you, no, okay, you should have a basic income. 50 years ago this wasn't the case and the majority of the problems we have is is with a generation that weren't trained weren't prepared they were prepared for a for a for a stable world that does not exist anymore yeah it does not exist anymore and uh, and i feel bad for them but at the same well, that's time i'm going to help them <laughs> th- exactly my thoughts and prayers are not going to do jack shit for no, them no that's definitely <laughs> sure so so the, the world is going to move along regardless of how how much sympathy they get or regardless of how bad they feel the best way to move ahead is to either find the ones that are willing and get them trained the ones that are not are not willing should be provided uh, a basic income but but the world was not in a position where it could afford basic income uh, 50 years ago it was no, not oh, well not i don't today, think it is today today it's much closer to that it's closer but i don't think I, uh, i think france is the only country where you genuinely actually have that yeah france does and uh, Fran- france is not the biggest economy in europe or in the or in but the whole by world by far the second one though or in the whole world so so it's They like are big, other though. countries can do this is what i'm saying yeah other countries can do this it's about the support that they get from the governments is is what my uh, my belief is but but again i use I the word do, belief very I should, carefully i should i should do more research on that um i believe uh, france i be, i i don't believe it's going to be sustainable in france even in the next 10 years it i don't think it's going to exist as far as things go currently but this is something that we might we should talk about um, this with an expert cuz uh, mm. yeah this is details elude me and everything is in the details concerning that i don't see a corona that's that true well, so. ideologically this all might make sense but uh, practically even i don't know how much it makes sense we have a problem with the video and it bugs me if oh. you look at it it's yours is like Oh, there's a lag. It lags. So, here's the thing. Uh, the other one is almost oh, yeah. two hours. This is one hour. Okay, I think we should. Uh, clock I think it in. we're gonna we're gonna close this up. Yeah, clock it in. Yeah, I think it's. How fine. are you? Uh, well, uh, we'll we'll talk about. I'm continuing good. this next <laughs> week if you're interested, because I sure. am. Sure. This would be fun. This would be fun to do. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm. With Arthur. I'm a local, so I can participate as often <laughs> as you need me. <laughs> do you think uh, we could uh, we could invite? Well, not next week, but uh, eventually cert- a certain Greek. Uh, <laughs> I would. I would love to have some some kind of a similar conversation because she ha- she will have a very different um, uh, um, viewpoint. Yeah. On economy. For, sh- for sure, she'll have a different perspective. Why? Well, I mean, I can ask her, or you can ask her. I already did, and like she she didn't say. Hmm. She didn't say much to it. Okay. Well, I I don't want it to be a, a problem, but if it's not, then I would really love to well. have her. <laughs> yeah, ha- handle it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would really appreciate but that. But that that would be, be I think that would be interesting. But yeah, I mean, we can do this uh, again at some point. Make it a several part discussion. But as a, as always, well, I'm not, this, I'm not, this discussion know. has been. as whole as every discussion is <laughs> i'm going to do the same thing to it as uh, as what i saw on rogan's podcast i'm going to chop it up to subjects also and, uh, and uh, then, upload separate videos yeah, from it makes sense so yeah yeah sure correct so, uh, so how do you usually close it by a fist bump or something 
Because if you don't, no, I that's, suggest, uh, that's PewDiePie. I think I suggest uh, you should. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's already been done in the gamer community. I'll, I'll mm. just say, uh, well, thank you, All right. thank you for the honest conversation, for the of attention, course. for I don't know, for coming, taking the time. Of course. Listening to the bullshit I had about women and languages and all this shit. <laughs> yeah, that was the only Sharing. thing that I struggled with the most because I... Uh, we didn't, we we will, didn't, yet, we didn't uh, yet talk about MotoGP and everything and that, no. that you would you would struggle with that too. I would be extremely clueless about it. Uh, <laughs> me, we should change that. Yeah. I actually, I actually um, introduced... Um, well... Um, Several uh, or no no Arthur yeah. Arthur yeah. Uh, to it and um, well he he rides a motorcycle has been riding for more than ten years so he knows what it's about in, in mm. um, but we are going to watch it in uh, on Sunday uh, it's gonna be an, at night uh, the Argentina race is the second one if you want to join then you're more than welcome we are gonna do a podcast afterwards after actual I look the, I look for the podcast because Sunday we I already I think me and I'm going to go biking. A bike trip. I don't understand how how Should come be. that your girlfriend is more important than my podcast. I mean, I know it's difficult to grasp, Matt, but that's just how things are. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you anyway. Good. You're welcome, and thank you for this. This was actually as interesting as I expected it to be. <laughs> well, that's a uh, that's a nice compliment. Yeah, I mean, though. I've been uh, I've told people that I'm doing this podcast, and to all of them, you can I say the same things that. All conversations are interesting with this guy, so I don't see how this podcast could Thank be. Thank you so any. much. That's exactly. <laughs> I wish I, I wish it to be the case because that's no, exactly I why I started this. Because yeah, I, yeah. I don't know what to teach people, but good. I know how to extract. That's true. From this is people good. like you, so well, cheers. Yeah, then. cheers and welcome to friends. Like I always say. Thank you. All right. All right, people. Bye. Bye bye.